the trolley? Anything from the trolley? Anything from the trolley? Oh, I don't Suppose we all oh, can, I, can I have that Vegas? Oh, yes. Can I have Vegas? Oh, can I have Vegas? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Buy Vegas? Yes, buy Vegas. Hello there, and welcome to my review of the ready to fight, out of the box build of Vegas, made by my friend Technicalities. It was at the Supersonic Brick Show, where we had an awesome setup, when I was struck by the idea to. Buy Vegas! So, with these words ringing in my ears, I decided to have a go at buying and building my own Vegas. Full disclosure, Technicalities also asked me if I could do this and gave me a discount code to do so, so I promise to be completely honest in this review, but just so you know. I've fought Vegas many times and it just keeps on getting better. To buy your own Vegas, there are links in the description below, or you can just search for Les DIY Vegas in Google and it will come up. Here was the site where I could finally So you have the options to buy with motors or without and the whole thing works really smoothly with no fuss or extra bits to buy and it's very good value for money. So that's my first pro. It's all easy to buy and get the instructions and start building. It's really simple, especially if you're new to the Lego scene. It's great for being a, just a click and buy sort of thing without any fuss. Wait a minute, stop, Mr. Postman. Yes, have you got my Vegas? Yes, all your Vegases are here, all eight of them. Oh, brilliant! I bought some with motors and some without motors. Oh, well, now you can have an eight Vegas Rumble. Ha 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 ha! Then they'll all drive down the pit. Ha 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 ha! After a short wait, my parcel arrived. All the pieces were there, but also this rather snazzy bag, which I absolutely love. It's really tough, and it's now my robot to work on bag. Also, these lovely little tools came in the box. A ruler, pliers, a brick separator. I love these. I almost never use instructions, and I'm quite bad at following them. But I could follow these easily. There were a couple of points where I wasn't sure, but it wasn't that hard. Also. I love all these extra bits that come with it. It feels special, like a nice gift. I love it. Okay, a pro and con point now. The pieces from the set are very high friction. I did hear a few people talk about this who've already done their reviews, and I just thought they were being wimps, but they weren't. It can be hard to push them together, and which was a nightmare to try and separate them. So I'd say a very small con is that the person building Vegas, if they're young, they might need a little bit of help putting it together, because some of those parts are quite hard to squeeze together. However, as a robot fighter, I love high friction pieces. It's less likely to fall apart in battle, and it's going to last the course. So I'm also counting these high friction pieces as a pro. Vegas has some lovely components that make it a great starter robot, and a good robot for intermediate builders as well. Lots of frames, chunky wheels, lift arms. This is great stuff for any robot. And if you're someone who's starting out in the robot world, it really lets you know which are the good pieces and which ones you should buy more of to expand your robot building. <laughs> I'm, I'm just so sad that, that I could never, I could never buy Vegas. I, I could never buy Vegas. Well, don't, don't worry, don't worry, you can buy Vegas without motors for $47.99 if you've already got the motors. It's fine though. Have, have that, my friend. Buy Vegas. Oh, maybe I'll, I'll buy Vegas. <laughs> now, I love this last bit. Building the wheel. I've made this wheel twice before for Bluetooth and Heatwave. This is the great work of Nick Cohen from Lego Goated. Great guy, great design, and it hits like a truck. And here is the finished Vegas. I must say, another pro point. It is really pretty and fun. 
It's a lovely looking robot. Technicalities won the most aesthetic robots award at the Great Western Brick Show this year, and you can see why. It's the slickness of the design, the little roulette wheel tying in the theme. It's just gorgeous. Let's have a drive. Vegas is a fantastic robot to drive, and the weapon is really great. But it does lead me on to a small con. This is a pretty competitive robot, which is great, but this isn't for small children. I would say a sensible eight-year-old could be trusted with it, but that weapon is great, and I wouldn't want any very young children or irresponsible children being hurt by it. That said, I've seen plenty of young children at LEGO events who have built robots like this and handled them perfectly and sensibly. So, if you're an adult watching this trying to buy it for a child, think about what your child's like and can you trust them to handle something like this. Vegas is excellent. But now for the final part of this video, time to see what I can do with these pieces and make myself an alternate build or alt build. And here it is, I present to you, using the same parts as Vegas, Reno. I consider Reno to be Vegas' vertical spinning cousin. It feels very light to drive and the weapon spins up nice and fast. I've kept the same wheel structure as Vegas and I've kept the Cohen wheel design as well. But I've used the other parts to rotate it into a vertical spinner. This is my last point for the video. I'll be turning Reno into a Lego Studio file and sending it to Technicalities, who's going to add it to the original Vegas instructions, so that soon, buying Vegas will get you the instructions for both Vegas and Reno. I like Vegas, and I like Reno. But which one is better? There's only one way to find out. To go to Steam and fight. Technicalities and I were really looking forward to this fight, the Vegas Reno alt build off, so we circle each other, there's a nice little nip to the back, but Vegas can do that 360 spin that allows it to just slice at your wheels, it's really unsettling. I try and go forward, but he gets that nice front hit. If you notice, every time I hit with Reno, Vegas kind of lifts up, it doesn't break, it just kind of lifts off the ground, it's so solid. I take my weapon down, he's still spinning, I bounce off him, but I can right myself by going off the wall, Vegas does another little sweepy hit there again. I spin up my weapon the wrong way, I think. Vegas' weapon might now be down. I think I hit the wire connectors. I bounce back. He tries to think about going for the pit button. When he shows me his rear, I get that holy grail of shots in the back. That is Game Reno. If you like this, you can watch the other two fights between Vegas and Reno on my channel soon. I think my conclusion is that Vegas is a great purchase for an experienced builder, but especially great purchase for people interested in making a start into the wonderful world of lego robot combat so this completely gets my thumbs up vegas is a wonderful build if your child is interested in getting involved in lego combat or you're an adult interested in getting involved with lego robot combat i don't think you can do any better at the moment than buying this set and having a go of it so i really do recommend that you mummy mummy i'm so sad i don't have everything i need well, I know what I can get you. Oh, what's that? Oh, you can, you can get yourself a Vegas. Oh, you can get yourself a Vegas. Buy Vegas. Oh, you buy Vegas. Oh, I shouldn't buy Vegas. Oh, you look lovely. Look at it. It's got a lovely spinner. Oh, 